What's the deal? They turn this AC down. What's the deal, man? It's one of the McLean, oh, McLean TV. Boy, it's hot. Boy, it's hot today, boy. So that going hot. White man turn black when he walk outside. You know what I'm saying? It's hot today, boy. But uh, y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe out there, man. Make sure y'all doing the right things. Uh, we're going to shout out to the DNTV fam. Thanks for y'all rocking with me. I need to explain something to people because I've been seeing this a lot about the rigged NBA. All right? And people don't understand how the NBA is actually rigged. Okay? It is very rigged. Very rigged. People are like, oh, so these guys really go out there knowing they're going to lose? Yes. Think about wrestling, right? You have guys in wrestling who are never going to be the world champion. Who are, they're going to go out there and purposely lose every night. They need a check. They know they're not that guy. They know they're not that talented. Same thing with the NBA. We know LeBron James is the guy. We knew Kobe Bryant was the guy. You got then the other guys. They they know who they are. The NBA knows what sells. Teams know what sells. You're going to have to have a career of. So say you got a guy like uh, who's a wrestler like Matt Hardy, right? Matt Hardy had a he's he's Matt Hardy could is, could be the equivalent of who's a team that just never won it in the NBA? The Minnesota Timberwolves. Could be the equivalent of Minnesota Timberwolves. Always going to make another team look good. Always going to be out there and uh, make it. Matt Hardy made a lot of wrestlers look good. He broke a lot of wrestlers in. You know, he's never going to be the world champion. Same thing with the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're going to just be a team that's just there. These players know who's the guy, they know who's the truth, and they know what sells. So they're going to pick it. Yeah, so yeah, these guys know they're going to lose. It's entertainment. You know, it's entertainment. The thing what we got to figure out as a society is picking the right winner. And it's kind of hard. Some nights when you watch wrestling, you didn't know the, 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 that Undertaker was going to beat Stone Cold or Shawn Michaels was going to beat Stone Cold. I don't know none of the new wrestlers. So I ain't watched wrestling in years. So... We would not know who's going to beat who, who's going to win what. You know what I'm saying? So, this is the same thing with the NBA. You don't know who's going to win. You know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But the NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, all those games are rigged. How they rig a baseball game, that confuses me because it's pitching, home runs, and <laughs> it's like how can the refs really go in and and call what's what you know so how can they interfere i'm pretty sure there's some bad calls in the major league baseball but if a pitcher's pitching and he, you hit a home run do you tell the guy not to hit a home run or to strike out on this on this bat i'm pretty sure you could say that hey man strike out like if you do not hit a home run do not i'm pretty sure baseball players know when they can and can't hit a home run i need to go wash my car my car is dusty man in case somebody rob by a clean car but um they know that uh that they're not supposed to win. They know they're not supposed to do that. So one thing about it is that that the NBA or all sports are just it's entertainment, man. We're here to keep you guys watching TV and, 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 and playing in the seats and spending money. All right? That's what it's about. So this is what it's all about. It's everything in the out here. There's nothing out here meant to save you or benefit you. It's all about being your destruction, your demise, to keep paying them taxes and be a good old taxpayer and shut up. That's what it's all about. We need you sitting down and, and, and worrying about the NBA. We don't need you worrying about politics. We don't need you worrying about where our money's going. We don't need you starting a secret little town. What if every town had a little small militia that debated politics and they didn't watch TV, they didn't go on the internet, they didn't do this, and all they was focused on was making sure their town had the right stuff and the people around it had the right stuff. That would end the world. That would end America. They don't want that. That's why you don't even be, you don't even know your neighbor's name. What's your neighbor's name? I lived beside a woman for five years. I didn't know her name until her boyfriend, until her husband left and my girlfriend left and we linked up. I knew this woman for five years. I ain't know her for five years. I ain't know her name for five years. She broke with a man. I broke up with my girlfriend. I we walked outside one day and we finally spoke. And uh I knew I found her name was. I'm like, damn, I knew you. I ain't never know. I, my, my neighbor across the street, I ain't known that dude's name for years. We, we we don't have no unity in our neighborhoods no more. I remember growing up, my 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 neighbor was beat. I'm like, why my why why does the barber across the street get a, uh, the the right to beat me? I look at my mama like, mama, you you what you what, what is this? Why can't this woman beat me, man? Who who is she? Oh, if they had them at your house, you can beat them. I went to Barbara house or Diane house. 
and they whooped me like I did. So I'm like, bro, I ain't even do nothing. I look at my mama, what'd he do? Oh, he did that girl, how to beat him too. i like, what is, what is going on? Y'all are crazy. And we gotta also talk about this, how we let a, a, an entire generation of black women just abuse kids for no reason. Like black mamas back in the day was beating us senselessly. My mama did. I don't wanna put that on my mama. My mama beat me four times in my life and she made them count. My mama was not like most black moms, but there was a lot of black moms in the neighborhood who were just beating kids. Dad, it wasn't the dads, even though I think that's in their, in their head, that's what they had to do to discipline the kids. But anyways, what I'm getting at is neighborhoods are no longer together. Families are no longer together. We're, we're, we're separated by religion. We're separated by politics. We're separated by teams. Are you like the Lakers? I'm like, the no, no, bro, 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 bro. We can't even sit down beside each other. All these fake teams that are all fake and staged. You know what I'm saying? Why would it be the number one team in the East, Boston? Boston is like the number one city on the East Coast besides New York. I'm shocked New York, and it's not New York and Los Angeles. I think we'll mess New York up. New York got them ugly colors, man. <laughs> and Boston got more of a leg, a leg in, in uh, NBA than New York. But it should be New York versus Los Angeles. But Los Angeles is the number one team on, on the West Coast. And uh, that's, that, that's just how it is, man. They got to keep us separated. They got to keep us buckled down and not worrying about nothing. So we can take our country back if we want it. Oh, yeah, we can most definitely take it back. Most definitely. Any day of the week, if we ever decide to work together, if we ever decide, hey, we don't need power, we got candles, baby. Put, cut all our lights off. We'll band together. Hey, hey, Jeff, don't you got a generator? I got a generator. We we, we don't need your power. You, we don't need it. You know what I'm saying? And then with the oil and gas, we don't need the oil and gas. We got water power stuff. We can start, we can power stuff by water the river. That's why they, that's why they taking away stuff to, for independence. And they, we watching TV, watching NBA finals, watching the daggone uh, movies. We not realizing that they take us, the, the electric car is going to be the end. Think about the electric car. Blackout. There's a blackout. How you going to charge a car? We can't, man. How, I, I ain't got no power running. When last time, all the flowing rivers, we live far from the flowing rivers. Far from it. All the flowing rivers are blocked off and they control it. Back in the day, there used to be this little wheel that would roll around and scoop the water up. You could have electricity with water. It was like a, a hamster wheel. And, the, and, the, and it will flow and, and, and the water will pick it up and you'll power your house, right? Or power your home. Or get some type of power from it. They took that away. We don't have no natural energy source. We need to be focusing on our own energy as a society. Our own energy, how can we do it where we don't have to depend on them? But nah, 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 nah. We're going to watch Chris Brown concerts. We're going to watch Love and Hip Hops. We're going to be on TikToks. We're going to watch idiots do these stupid dances. Grown men, grown men in their 30s doing dances. Grown men in their 30s need to be trying to save the world, but we are the heroes. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to my boy who, who got a car running off plastic. The man who made the car run off water, they poisoned him. You know what I'm saying? We need to start putting our energy into other stuff, but see, the finals, NBA, entertainment, they, why are y'all driving some dag on y'all all crazy? What the heck was that? Like three people just driving insane. Anyways, they're going to always do that. They're going to keep us to where all we know is entertainment and sitting down. We need, I'm, I, I'm ready to do it. You know what I'm saying? Give me like three more years of getting my finances right because you're going to need money for this. You're going to need to use some of their stuff to get to get right. So my three more years, I'm ready to do this militia. I am ready to start focusing on self-energy for ourselves so we can say, hey, F y'all, we don't care about going to work. Here's the thing. they got the, We ain't got nowhere to stay. So since we got nowhere to stay, think about it. Where are you going to live at? If you say, hey, F this, I ain't gonna pay my rent. They're gonna come get you out. Now you're homeless. Now we can have the land. Now the police gonna come get you and lock you up. You know what I'm saying? We pretty much effed. We're pretty much as a society effed. And we're getting more F. And they're not even using no more Vaseline. They said no more Vaseline, no more spit. You're getting it raw straight in there. Straight in there and we ramming it in. That's how they're doing the, the society now. That's how they're doing it right now. They're taking everything away. They ain't gonna change with Trump, with Trump getting in office. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna change, you know what I mean? I, if he get in the office. Now, there might be a chance, but I don't wanna put my buckets on Trump. I wanna put my buckets and money on the people.
because we really can change this up. That's what I want to bet my money on. I don't want to bet my money on some politician. Y'all, this whole savior idea was planted in our brain so we can be lazy. So we can be lazy and not depend on, oh, somebody out the sky going to save us. Oh, a president going to save us. Nobody going to save us but us. And it's time for us to start going to our towns. Everybody to go outside and start pitching this idea to somebody and telling somebody, hey, let's do this. Hey, we need this. I need, I'm trying to come up. I need somebody intelligent. See me? I'm just the brains of the operation, but I'm not the brains. You see what I'm saying? I'm looking for, I need somebody who wants to start, who can power their, we need to be by a river. We need to be by a river with flowing water. And that's what they're going to do. As soon as we get flowing water, they're going to stop the water. We need solar panels, flowing water. We need wind so we can have our own energy so stuff hit the fan. Do not buy an electric car because we, but here's the thing. We need to find a car that can run off other substances besides oil because they control oil. We have no way to get oil. If I can find my own oil, it's really up. It's re Don't let me get the digging. Man, if we can ever find our own oil source and if we ever find our own oil, the government's going to come ramshack us and destroy us. So not only do we need vehicles that run off of different but we need horses for one if we got horses we good horses don't need nothing but food so we got a horse there but we can travel but they they want to take our independence away from us all right and that's why you got the nba you got your nbas you got your nfls you got your movies you got your toys you got your cell phone everything comfortable ain't it you got your bed we got nice beds california they got a new bed coming out a brand new bed coming out. It's a big, it's bigger than the California King. Huge bed. Go look it up. It's a bed. It's like a, a master bed or something like that. Bed so big, it's like your whole room is a bed. It takes a whole room up. It's for like a huge room, all bed. So you got a big, nice bed. We got the big, comfy couch. Oh, we got 100 inch screen TVs for a thousand bucks now. Go get you a thousand dollar 100 screen TV. You got your nice little fancy car with your AC in it. You're comfortable. We got to try to have, get, we need groups of people. Who are ready to be uncomfortable i need groups of people who are ready to be uncomfortable who are ready to get our own energy source so we can look at the government and say we don't need y'all i really want to get on a boat and find a land that's uncharted and take out all the tribe people there. i know it sounds evil but we need to just do what we got to do <laughs> but that's what they did this is how you think i mean all the lands got started people who got on the boat got to the land and took everybody out it sounds evil but that's what I personally want to do to get out this matrix. This is the only y'all. This I'm giving y'all the true plan out of this. The true plan out of this is getting on a boat, find an uncharted land. It'd be good if it does not have people on it. Find an uncharted land and take it to for ourselves. That won't work because we don't have the infrastructure. The infrastructure is going. What I mean, the infrastructure, the planes, the military. Their infrastructure is so. They're like on level 10 million. We'll be starting level one. Level one means sticks, bricks, planes. That not put sticks, bricks, and rocks. We ain't got nothing. If we ever get on that, like a good level, have an infrastructure, we straight. We need a billionaire to really fund all this. But I'm gonna let y'all know this. Really, it, there's gonna be really no way out of it. Don't stress yourself out. Just play the game and play this Texas game and just live your life and just be stuck in it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, I'm gonna have to end up doing. I'm really gonna start trying to think of a way out and try to find a way to infiltrate while we in. We need a politician inside of the, in, uh, in, to imp, we need a politician raised up from our own to go inside. We need five or six of them to start getting stuff on our end. We need to start icing people out. We need to ice out some people. People need to get jury. We need to buy somebody a chain. We need, a few politicians need to get iced out. We need to buy them chains, watches, and rings, and earrings, and gold teeth. We need to fully ice them all the way out from head to toe. We buy them anklets. We need to find our own energy sources, water, wind, solar power. We need vehicles, horses, feet, or vehicles that does not run off oil that we can control. We also gonna need weaponry. All right, we everybody got weapons. We also need weaponry. We're gonna need food sources, so we're gonna need fields to grow our own food. They got that on lock. Think about it. Farming used to be an American. Farming used to be an American norm. Nobody know how to farm. I don't know how to farm. I can't teach y'all to grow nothing right now. I need to learn. Y'all, we got time. Even if this plan does not, 
Even if the plan does not come to full fruition until I'm in my 70s, at least I made an attempt to get us out of the matrix. Because we're going to do a lot of talking on the internet right now. Everybody doing the talking. You know, you got your, I ain't got my towel right now. I'm driving. I will do the woke guy. But everybody doing all that talking. These dudes ain't got no plan to get out of here. They just want to talk, 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 talk and get that check. I'm going to come up with a plan for y'all, at least for us to really get in the play to get out. It's going, I'm going to have to do a lot of talking for the next few years to run up that bag. But once you get that bag ran up, once you get that bag ran up, once you get some following, once you start getting some resources, solar panels, we really got to get off the USA. We got to really break that tax law. If we can break that tax law to where we can actually own our own land, now we got it. Because in the United States, you really don't own no land. The tech, Think about it. You buy a house, right? You pay the tax for the house, right? You buy the land, right? You die, your kids take over. They do the same thing, pay everything. They die. They next kids come and they some lazy bastards. They lazy as hell and they own drugs. All that shit your family work for is gone. Cause the government gonna seize it through taxes. So now your family is back in square one because these one few junkies got on a new drug, the new weed, the new za, got high on a new za, and now lost everything. And now you're looking crazy. So we want, if if the people, and we got the power to change things. So we need to start boycotting some of these rules and getting around. So I'm going to have to start getting into politics, man. Because I got, since I got the plans and shit, I just got to figure out what I got to do to get into politics and really make these moves and really get there. But it's so infiltrated by the, by the, the powers that be. It's so, I think about it, the powers that be, already all in politics they're not about to let no new dude run i'm gonna need like a there's a bunch of youtubers out there we could probably get with and talk about talk to and uh see if you know, a way that we can get this done you know what i'm saying because it needs to be done you know what i mean it needs to happen it needs to happen this needs to happen soon but let's i want everybody to know this i'm gonna end this video here in nba rig is cool guys are cool the nba being rigged because they're okay with getting a check and they know who's that guy they know who's the top flight dude is, and they know they're never gonna get their chance. It's cool. Guys are okay with understanding. Hey, I'm 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 just happy to be here. You know what I mean? You're not gonna get no rings. You're not about to be the star player. All right, you, you ain't that guy. But that's all I got to say. Let me know if you have any comments or any questions. It's what I'm claiming. What I'm claiming to feed. Let's be safe. I'm out.